Ransomware mitigation continues to be top of mind in boardrooms and C-suites alike. In my conversations with customers, I often reference the following five steps that customers can take to greatly reduce the risk of being adversely affected by a ransomware event. Number one, implement least privileged access and use multi-factor authentication. If a credential is compromised, ideally the credential has limited permissions and requires multi-factor authentication for anything sensitive. Number two, implement centralized logging, monitoring, and alerts. Knowing what is normal in your environment will let you observe and investigate anything that is abnormal. Number three, patch and harden systems. Implement and test backup and restore processes to validate the resilience of your systems in case of a failure or compromise. Number four, implement a security awareness program for all employees. This should include focusing on email hygiene and the importance of investigating links to make sure that they're valid before they're used. And of course, it is also very important to let them know how to report a security event or suspected security event internally to your respective security teams. Number five, this is the last one, but I would argue it's the most important of all. Develop and exercise an incident response plan. Oftentimes, customers relegate incident response planning to either the security team or an infrastructure team without involving the larger organization. The customers that have some of the most robust protections out there perform regular incident response simulations each year. They not only include security and technical teams, but also make sure to include the executive teams, legal, communications, and others to make sure that all levels of the organization understand what their roles and responsibilities are if an incident were to happen. Regular, realistic incident response planning and testing gives customers the confidence that if there ever is a problem, that they can address it. In times of uncertainty and stress, learning to be comfortable with being uncomfortable is a key skill we can all gain via routine drilling of incident response exercises. For more information on this topic, please check out the links in the following description. Thanks for watching.